NFL free agency is winding down. So let's give out grades for what the Tennessee Titans have done so far in free agency and We'll mix in a trade in there as well. I'm going to give out grades here momentarily for all of the moves and the trades and an overall grade for this organization too. But I want you guys to get that started in the comment section right now. Head down there and give me a grade. A, B, C, D, or F. Tom Downey of Chat Sports here for Tennessee Titans today, handing out free agency grades, both overall at the very end, so make sure you watch all the way through, and individually. And we're going to begin with the outside the organization move, since Tennessee was fairly active. Jamarco Jones, first up here. I'm going to give it a B. He is not someone you want playing a bunch of snaps, but if he's your seventh or so offensive lineman, that's about what you're looking for because he can play all over the offensive line. And Tennessee did not break the bank. I think it's a good move. A.J. Moore, the safety next up here. I'm fine with it. It's not that expensive. He's not hopefully going to be playing a lot of snaps for you. So I'm inclined to give that pickup a C. It's average. I don't think Tennessee really made any bad moves in free agency. So what is your favorite free agent signing for Tennessee. I've got one in mind we're going to get to here momentarily, but let me know in the comments section what your favorite free agent signing is for the Titans. It's not Trenton Cannon, a uh, backup special teamer. Didn't think he was that great for the Niners, by the way, but he's going to fight for a roster spot, so it's fine, but it's not, it's not splashy. The move I like the most in terms of free agent outside the organization signings is Austin Hooper, the tight end. Hooper comes in and will immediately be an upgrade over the other tight ends Tennessee had last year. Now, he's coming off a down year. Don't get me wrong on that front. Only 38 catches, 345 yards, and I know he missed time due to injury, and maybe you're not going to get prime Austin Hooper like, you, like he was with the Falcons, but he's still only 27 years old. He has been a 700-yard receiver in the past. He's a good blocker. He is an upgrade over the attempted options Tennessee had last year. He's not that expensive for Tennessee. It's a pretty affordable team-ish friendly deal. I know that was a very strong pickup by Tennessee. And if you still love somebody in round or day two, I should say, you can still draft a tight end. We're going to include a trade here because it's free agency, but this was part of it. You spent your money for it, so we're going to allow it. Robert Woods, I love this deal. We broke this down from, from my own house uh, when it went down because it was too big of news not to. It's an A grade. I, I think this is a fantastic pickup by Tennessee. The Rams get a future sixth. Remember, future picks are normally counted as one less than the current round. And Robert Woods is coming off injury. I get that, and, and you know, he's – aging a little bit. He was expensive. This is a great move by Tennessee. Yeah, his numbers were down in 2021, only 556 yards. Again, he, he missed time. You can pretty much double his numbers, and that's a little bit more along the lines of what he's done over most of his NFL career with the LA Rams. He was an average thousand yard receiver the previous three seasons had success with the bills he's only uh, gonna turn 30 in April this was a fantastic pickup by the Tennessee Titans it's one of my favorite ones they made if not the favorite one they made this offseason now if you love the Robert Woods trade type in me because I did I thought that was a, a shrewd pickup by Tennessee given the Julio Jones release that was a bit of a surprise but Woods is a better player right now than Julio. So type me if you're hyped about that trade. If you love the Titans, go get one of their jerseys. A.J. Brown, Ryan Tannehill, plenty of others, including Derrick Henry, of course. They're on sale for a limited time only at chatsports.com slash Titans jersey. That link's going to be in the comment section and in the description. So go check it out. They'll have Robert Woods up there at some point soon, I hope. Maybe even as soon as today's filming is over. Who knows? Chatsports.com slash Titans jersey. They have a lot of Derrick Henry ones, by the way. So go check it out today at Chatsports.com slash Titans jersey. Harold Landry. Let's talk internal moves now. This was a big one for me. You guys know who have been subscribed for a long time. Know how I feel about Harold Landry. How impactful I think he is. How much I thought he was going to command on the open market as a young edge rusher coming off 12-sack season. Tennessee retained him. 
That was essential as far as I was concerned. You have now Bud Dupree, Harold Landry, Danico Autry. Your editors, and of course, Autry can, can, can kick inside some too. Reduce inside is the technical term, I guess. You're in good position there. The defense should once again be awesome for Tennessee next season. Bringing back tight end two, Jeff Swaim. I'm, I like this move. He's not expensive. He's very cheap, and he's going to be a backup for you. Austin Hooper will play over. Maybe a draft pick plays over Jeff Swaim. But at minimum, he can be your number two blocking-focused tight end. Ben Jones, the other big-time addition. Then we'll get into a long list of cheaper re-signings on the back end of your roster. Had you lost Ben Jones, center, unquestionably, would have been your number one need. He, they, I don't trust Aaron Brewer in that role. So getting Ben Jones on a pretty team-friendly deal, I thought was a smart move by Tennessee, and they can still look towards the draft on day two, day three, for a developmental piece behind him as well. But what do you guys think? Was it the right move to bring back Ben Jones? Why for yes it was, and for no, you wanted to go somewhere else. You weren't going to get Ryan Jensen, so you could argue Ben Jones was the second best center available in the market. Why for yes, and for no. Kicker's back as well, Randy Bullock, and we'll kind of go quick on a lot of these because uh, outside of Bullock, this next group of guys are probably going to be backups for you. Dylan Cole, who offers you some linebacker depth more on the interior, he is back. Hey, your long snapper, he's back too. Morgan Cox, and hopefully this is the last time we mention his name all season long because otherwise that means he didn't do his job right. Dontrell Hilliard, uh, he is back. Deonta Foreman left. I thought Hilliard was just as good, if not better, than Foreman. I do still think this team is going to keep their eye out for a day two, day three running back pick because... Unfortunately, Darrington Evans wasn't that guy for Tennessee. Buster Screen also back. Janoris Jenkins, unsurprisingly, has been cut. That made sense. Screen gives you some veteran depth option, and hopefully Caleb Farley has a big-time breakout season. Now, if you guys love the Tennessee Titans, then subscribe. We're at 2,630. Let's get to 3K. We are, you know, you can do the math there, 370 away from that standpoint. So, so subscribe right now. Tyre Tart, back again, depth option at defense tackle. Some of these guys, by the way, are mixed in as ERFAs and RFAs. Nick Westbrook-Akinney, he's not going to be, hopefully not receiver three. If he's receiver four or even five, you probably feel good about that wide receiver room. Logan Woodside, I would hope the Titans look at other QB options, but he is back, and the latest re-signing was edge rusher Ola Adeniai, who is going to compete for a backup role on the roster. So of the free agent signings, oh, not overall, excuse me, of all the moves the Titans made in NFL free agency, and that includes trades and re-signings, what was the best move? And if you want to mention, you know, cutting Julio Jones or Janoris Jenkins or restructuring Zach Cunningham, I think those moves work as well. Let me know in the comments section. I'm going to go through my top four here. Number four was the re-signing of Ben Jones. I thought that was a, these are all great moves as far as I'm concerned. Number three was signing Austin Hooper. The tight end market went from being strong with Dalton Schultz and Mike Kosicki and David Njoku to it being real thin. So getting Hooper, once the Browns cut him, was a smart pivot by Tennessee. Number two, the Robert Woods trade. How, how can you be mad at it? You're getting an awesome number two wide receiver for some cap space and a sixth-round pick next year. Awesome move. And you guys know how I feel about Harold Landry. That, that, that's my guy. He had the breakout year. He got paid like it. He is your best edge rusher, your best defensive player, not named Jeffrey Simmons and probably still Kevin Byard, so I'll, I'll call him third, but eh, kind of close there, I guess, on, on number two. I know it's a good pickup there by Harold Landry to re-sign with Tennessee. So I'm going to give out my grade here in just a second. But first, if you haven't already, let me know. Grade the Titans free agency so far. A, B, C, D, or F. I'm going to give it a B. Man, that, that is a good free agency by Tennessee. And I don't grade, I don't grade on a curve, by the way. So if you're tight on cap space, okay, that's fine. You're just not going to win free agency. That's not a bad thing necessarily. So being a bit lighter on cap space, Tennessee still did a good job. Took care of center, took care of tight end, got a steal in the Robert Woodshed. That bumped him up almost a full letter grade as far as I'm concerned. You've still got some issues on the offensive line. 
that's okay. Those can get sorted out here, I'm sure, during the NFL draft. You know, you cut Julio Jones, which hurt, but that was last year's trade, so I'm not going to ding you too much there. It was the right move, I think. Not the same guy. It was in his prime. You cut Janoris Jenkins. Smart. You redid Zach Cunningham. Overall, I think the additions outweigh the losses for Tennessee. If you can hit the draft, get some good offensive linemen, this team will once again be dangerous in 2022. If you want more Titans videos, then make sure you guys are subscribed. YouTube.com slash Titans today.